Affinity Designer version 2 comes with a great new feature, the knife tool. And what does it do? It cuts through paths as long as they're selected. That's the key thing. You can see it's selected there. So go to the knife tool. Here's the knife tool. It's also a multi-purpose tool. It's also got a scissor feature as well, which is very handy. But here's the knife. And simply go over here and just drag through. As long as it's selected, you can create all kinds of different shapes, cutting through like that. Release, and you see you've got all these curves. Do it again, maybe just cut a slice like that. Again, you've got a curve, it's split it in two. Again, undo, maybe cut there. And again, you've got a nice cut there and a cut there. As long as it's still selected, you can still run through it again. Now, as soon as it's not selected, you will not be able to use it with that curve. And you can see some curves there are not selected. You need to reselect them and then use the knife tool if you want to continue to use it. Let's just undo. What you can also do is you can hold down the shift key, which is very useful because what you can then do is create a nice straight line. And you can cut through like that. Or maybe if you want to create half, half a circle, semicircle, just cut through like that or just cut through at 45. And again, make certain it's selected there, go through that way. And you can do it, of course, across ways as well. There is a sort of issue with this. Sometimes it just puts it back to the no tool. So sometimes you might find you're, you think you're on the knife tool, which is K, but you might suddenly find you're on the no tool. It does seem to have that odd feature. I wish that didn't happen. Also, you'll notice here, you've got a stabilizer. Now, when I did the first curve, I just applied it, just went through like that. It's okay, but it's fairly rough. You can see it's a bit of a coarse curve. Well, you can just simply put a stabilizer on, click there, and then run through. And as you run through, it creates a much nicer, smoother curve just using these settings. But you can do it whatever way you want. Now you can use it with other shapes. I've obviously just used a circle, but you can use maybe a square or any other shapes, as long as it's selected. So maybe two shapes. Key thing, both are selected, and then use the knife tool. So run through the knife there, and you see as you cut through, they're all cut, and you've got the curves accessible here in the layers panel. You can also use this with text as well. So let's just go to text, and I'm gonna go with artistic text tool. Let's just create the word text. It course could be anything. It could be just a single letter. So create some text, and with that, let's just drag that out a bit so you can see it. Again, simply go to the knife tool and drag through the knife. Maybe use a doodle again, or a straight line, or any kind of cut. And as soon as you release, you've got this group. It creates a group this time. I'm not certain why the other ones don't create groups. And you can expand it out, and then you can select individual curves and change the color of those parts of that design. Or maybe go to the move tool, and shift that out and so on. So you can break your text apart very quickly using this approach. Create a splintering kind of effect. And of course, then you can apply layer effects, etc., to each of those parts. You can also use this with open curves. So just go to the pen tool, so select the pen tool, click there and create a curve like that. Very basic curve. Again, you can cut through. Again, as long as it's selected, so go to the knife tool and just cut through. And as you cut through, you now see it split. And again, you've got the curves there. So you can select that curve or that curve or that curve. They're all individual. And let's just move it so you can just see it broken apart there. There's also an additional option, which is very nice. And this is the final bit. Just simply go to anything again. I'm just gonna go with a circle. Go to the knife tool. And then you can just hover over there and you can split the curve. So I'm just gonna click there. However, it doesn't create another curve. It's just a, you've got a scissor. Now it's a bit odd because it puts it up to the node tool then, because of course it expects you to work with the nodes. Just have to remember always just to put it back to the knife tool. And then put it, hover again over the line and click again, and it will split it again. But now, Let's just quickly go to the no tool because that's what I want to use this time. You can then select that and just drag that off like that. You can also select that one and drag that off. And you end up with this very odd splitting of the path 
but it's still all the same curve. So if you just go over here, select the move tool, move it around, you've still got this additional part of the design, just split away, but it is still part of that curve. And again, no tool, and you can drag that out. And again, go to the knife tool, hover over there, split, and you can split and continue to modify and change this thing using the node tool. So select that, and you can see you can break that away as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.